Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for being here as we finish up Christian Okafor's sophomore season here on NCAA 07. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Today's game is going up against Oklahoma in the All-State Sugar Bowl. Oklahoma comes into this game ranked number 10 in the nation and finishing the season 10-2. and two. As you can tell, guys, they are a very good team with an A-plus overall. Offense A-minus, defense is an A. Hopefully Christian has a big game because if you go to the newsletter, he is guaranteeing a win. Time to put up. Notre Dame's Christian Okafor guarantees a victory against the number 10 Sooners. Brad Nessler joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Oklahoma Sooners. Happy New Year, everybody. As usual, the 1st of January brings a lot of hard-hitting action. And here come the Sooners. Fans on both sides think their team is going to win this thing. What's your prediction, Kirk? Notre Dame knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. I hate to agree with you, Kirk. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish are going to win this game. Oklahoma is the first offense to come out onto the field. And number seven, Larson is under center. Dropping back, looking on his first pass attempt, throws an interception to our boy Williams. That is going to help our offense out with great field position. We are now fired up. Got a little bit of momentum on our side. Let's put some points on the board. Like I said earlier, guys, I want Christian Okafor to have a really good game today. Not able to pick up anything on his first rushing attempt. Forcing a third and six. We're looking to hit the true freshman. Can't find him across the field. And that is going to set up a field goal attempt of 42 yards. Kick is on its way. It is good. We take the early 3-0 lead. First play on Oklahoma's next offensive series. They are now in the shotgun. Larson. Play action pass. Go in deep to his wide receiver. I transfer over to Wade. Make a horrible play in Cox. He catches it, and he is gone for the touchdown. 76 yards, and now they have the lead 7-3 to three here in the first quarter. Notre Dame offense back out on the field with second and seven. We are looking to hit Wheeler running across the field, and he looks to be wide open except for the linebacker cheese. Accelerates and deflects the ball, and also Wheeler it looks to be injured on the play. Hopefully that is not for the rest of the game. We got our own little cheese play here with Okafor going down the left side, picking up a first down, moving the chains. After a sack, it is third and 14, and we're looking to just hit Okafor deep down the seam. Looks like we got a chance, but it comes incomplete. Nice play by the free safety. We're forced to punt. Oklahoma's offense ranks number 10 in the nation, averaging 436 yards a game. Here they are in the shotgun formation again. We are playing with Wilcox. Larson drops back, looks, and I get that user pick, baby. Second pick of the game by this defense. Hopefully the offense can actually go down and put some points on the board like a touchdown so we can regain this lead. But we are fired up and we got a little bit of momentum going right here. Oklahoma's defense is no joke. Forcing a third and ten. Doing a little cheese play to Okafor. Able to take it up the field. That's going to force a four down. Luckily we do get it on another Christian Okafor run. First and ten. We're looking to open it up a little bit. And what do I do? I make a bonehead mistake and throw an interception. Oklahoma was bringing the blitz. I thought our receiver was going to be open, and the linebacker just makes a great play. Picking up action here in the second quarter, facing another third down. Oklahoma goes five wide, finds Cox on the left sideline. Luckily, our linebacker number 58 is there to make the stop. Now, this Notre Dame offense really has not found any kind of rhythm here. We're going deep to Okafor. This time, we actually do get behind the defense for a huge catch. That's going to put us in the red zone, inside the 10. Ball is on the 8. First and goal. Let's punch it in right here, guys. Come on, we need to take the lead. Being this close to the end zone, we're just going to give it to Okafor. The dude wants the ball. Pulsating. Won't be denied. Touchdown. And we finally take the lead back 10-7. to With under two minutes to go in that half, Oklahoma looking to put some more points on the board. Find Smith down the left sideline for a huge gain. 
After a couple of the first downs, it is now first and goal with only 55 seconds left to go. Option read by Larson. He's going to keep it in. He gets absolutely destroyed by number 50. Larson does appear to have injured his head on the play, and he is going to have to go on to the sideline. That's going to bring the backup, Campanella, out. Rolling to the right on a play action pass. Finds right, but he ends up fumbling it. Williams recovers it. No bass recovers it in the end zone. We are going to get the ball back at the 20 with only 35 seconds left to go in the half. Oklahoma brings their free safeties down to the box. Looks like they're playing man coverage. We're going to take a shot deep to Pino. And he comes up with it, leaping over an Oklahoma defender. And we are going to go into the end zone with one play, 80-yard touchdown, giving us a little bit of insurance before we go into the half. Notre Dame offense comes out to start the second half, and we really haven't established the run game with Okafor today, so we are just going to continue running the rock. As you can see, guys, he only has 45 yards today so far. Okafor, again, right side, breaking a couple more tackles, picking up another first down. It is nice when you can get these chunk plays. Okafor to the left this time, makes a guy miss, picks up 20. And just on this drive alone, he has already picked up 40 yards. Doing a little option, Okafor taking it again, another first down, gives him the stiffy and then falls out of bounds. We are now in the red zone. Little cheese play for Okafor down the left sideline. Another juke, dragging defenders, getting us all the way down to the three yard line and we're gonna go I formation. Okafor up the middle, following his fullback, goes in for the touchdown, making it 24 to 17. We're starting to run away with this one, boys. With under a minute left to go in the third quarter, Oklahoma needs a big play right here. Third and nine, Campanella's still in the game because Larson had the head injury. Finding Smith over the middle of the field to move the chains. Very next play, first and 10, Campanella, play action pass, going deep. I mess it up with Bass, not doing a very good job in coverage. Touchdown. Looks like Oklahoma's wanting to play a little bit, man. They're wanting to keep this game close going into the fourth quarter. Looking to put this game away. We're going to give Christian Oka for the rock on a left outside tackle run. Nice pickup, first down, moving the chains. We are almost at midfield, and we decide to throw it a little bit. I'm looking to go to Christian right here. He is pulsating. We're going down the sideline. Looks like he's going to be open. We release it, and we get hit on the throw, forcing a bad pass, and it gets picked off by the linebacker, Brown. Oklahoma, man, they've got some momentum here in the fourth quarter now. Time is definitely starting to become a factor with under three minutes to go. Campanella on third down. Can't find anybody open. Steps up in the pocket and gets sacked, forcing a fourth down. This could be it, guys. The game could be over on this play. Fourth and 12 now. Campanella looking back. Finding his man over the middle of the field. Holmes comes down with a catch even after getting hit by Kelly. Third and 10, defense trying to make another stop here in the red zone. And again, Campanella gets sacked, this time by number 94. And Oklahoma's going to take the three points to cut into this lead, making it a one-possession game. It is now 24-17 with a minute 26 to go in the game. It's games like these when it's really nice having Okafor as your running back, knowing that he can pick up first downs and really just grind the clock out and end the game. There's only one thing left to do. We're going to win this one, but we're going after the single season rushing record. And Okafor is going to accomplish it right here on first down. Breaking Barry Sanders' record set in 1988 at Oklahoma State. And just for good measure, we're going to give Okafor the ball one more time. Running our direct snap cheese play. Makes the guy miss in the backfield. Does a spin move to pick up the first down. Gets an impact move to break another tackle. We are down at the five, but that is going to be it for Christian Okafor. Putting up 164 yards today. There's the final gun, and this game is history. Kirk, any final thoughts here? I'm sad to see this one in because it's a great game to watch. Oklahoma played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one. Notre Dame, 24, Oklahoma, 17. Looking at the stats, Okafor finished with 27 carries, 172 yards, and two touchdowns. Also pitched in one catch for 50 yards. Pino got one for 80 and a touchdown, and Wheeler had one for 18. 
Back at the dorm room, let's check out that Sugar Bowl trophy. Congratulations, Notre Dame has won the Sugar Bowl. Let's take a look at the newsletter. Win streak still intact. Notre Dame's 12-game winning streak survives a scare against Oklahoma. Looking at Okafor's season stats, he ran the ball for 2,652 yards, 36 touchdowns, only one fumble, 1,157 yards came after contact, guys. And like I said in the game, that was a new NCAA record. Receiving Christian caught 23 passes for 482 yards and four touchdowns with two drops. One thing I would like to improve on next season is actually making Christian a legit wide receiver threat out of the backfield. I want him to catch over 1,000 yards next year and run for 2,500. After that victory over Oklahoma, we finished the season at number six. Let's go ahead and simulate the offseason and get ready for Oklahoma's junior year. All right, guys, so here we are, brand new campus dorm room. Uh, this is going to be the year. This has got to be the year that we win the Heisman Trophy. It is year three. We are an impact player, and there is no reason Okafor should not just keep rolling this season. If we don't win the Heisman Trophy this year, it is going to be a disappointment. But let's go ahead and take a tour around the room. First up, we got the laptop on the desk next to the bed. And then we obviously got the progress report. Fan mail next to the TV consoles calendar up above newsletter in the chair and we got our trophy crate at the foot of the bed and finally the closet now a couple things that we're going to do before we end this episode is actually go into the progress report our current gpa is a 3.6 i want to make that a 4.0 looking at our athletic goals it is not going to be hard to accomplish these rush for over 1200 yards 18 touchdowns Five runs of at least 20 yards and average a four-point yard carry. That should be easy. Last but not least, guys, looking at campus popularity, we're sitting at 100%, so there's nothing wrong there. We're going to do a lot of social activities this year. And like I said, man, really want to get that 4.0. Looking at the campus gazette, it is all about Christian Okafor this season. Christian, the Notre Dame star, is the talk of the land in 2008. That can only mean one thing. That means that we are probably the front runner for the Heisman Trophy. Let's go ahead and check out the computer and actually find out for ourselves right now, going straight into the Heisman watch. There he is sitting at number one, and we are not going to give up that number one spot. Christian started the season last year as number five. Didn't have a good game because we lost against Georgia Tech, and he never made it back onto the list. Last thing we're going to do in this episode, guys, is look at our season. We're going to start opening week playing Eastern Kentucky University, followed by Purdue, then Michigan and Michigan State. That is going to round out the month of September. Heading into October, we're going to play Oregon, Virginia Tech, Stanford, Clemson. November, we got Navy, North Carolina, and Syracuse. Going into the month of December, our only game is Pitt. And then if all goes well, we will be winning the Heisman Trophy on December 8th and then also playing for a national championship. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It is going to be an exciting year with Christian Okafor going into his junior season. I'm the coach. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and I'm out.